two down one long. Considering the age and depletion rate of current jet trainers, the widening transition gap from gauges to advanced electronic systems and the price of a gallon of fuel, the United States Navy has identified the need for a modern replacement trainer. More than that, the Navy has proposed a new total training system. Academics as well as aircraft, simulators, logistic support and overall management are the specified ingredients to be developed simultaneously in a unique systems approach called the VTXTS. In response, the Grumman Aerospace Corporation, Beach Aircraft Corporation, and the Link Division of the Singer Company have teamed up and are now putting all the pieces together in an unprecedented analysis and design effort. This is not just another study, but rather one step in developing for the Navy the best fully integrated training system. We've eliminated the nice-to-have features in order to make the system more effective and less costly. The trade-offs that we're performing will provide the Navy a proficient jet pilot at the lowest life cycle cost. If it doesn't help the training program, out it goes. 87 terminal learning objectives shape the VTXTS program. The challenge to industry convert them to meaningful training requirements for classroom, aircraft, and simulator applications. Taking advantage of subject matter experts and an in-house instructional systems development group established in 1974, Grumman has thoroughly analyzed each task, established a solid database, and developed an integrated curriculum for all training elements. And we've got to go it over item by item to see if we got all of the cognitive objectives that we need. A simulation model of one of the Navy training bases has proved a useful tool for evaluating the proposed system as part of the ISD integration process. We're looking at the content inherent in conceptual learning and trying to identify more effective ways of integrating that with the performance skills that are required. We're interested in the utilization of the aircraft and instructors, how the system responds to surges, the effect of bad weather on the schedule. We want to help prepare the student as fully as possible to handle aircraft and simulator training tasks. We're identifying performance parameters. For example, how does an instructor know that a student is performing specific maneuver correctly? And we're also identifying the specific media components that most effectively satisfy the specific behavioral objectives. Since academics is the lowest cost system element, we try to achieve as much as we can with it. Whether you're driving a freight train or a jet fighter, there's nothing like real-world experience for developing skills behind the wheel. But simulators today are quite real, and in many respects, better than being there. Simulators are safer, more efficient, much less costly, need no refueling, and reduce the number of aircraft required. The trick is to determine the proper balance. Grumman and Link have established that ratio, the types of trainers needed, the total number, and the mix. As part of a very thorough analysis, a dome projection system has been designed. Typical scenarios are being developed. And a synergistic queuing system analyzed for the operational and tactical visual trainers. Sooner or later, of course, the student will have to hit the deck in earnest. Every airplane ever built compromises one performance parameter or another in meeting specific mission requirements. For the VTX, the mission is training. The compromise, 
achieve the necessary training transfer from primary to fleet with maximum efficiency and minimum risk. Typically, you want to build a good stall recovery aircraft that doesn't want to spin. The VTX requires the ability to spin and recover well, but not to spin inadvertently. That's a tough assignment, but there's more to the program than just this. The challenge is uh, swapping two aircraft for one, coming up with good handling qualities, saving fuel, but without degrading training effectiveness. You can't have an aircraft that's too tricky for pilots coming right out of primary, nor too docile for pilots going into the rag. What's an aspect ratio that you can live with, for example, and still teach pilots to shoot guns, fire missiles, and hit targets on the ground? The Grumman Beach team has looked at all these considerations and more in developing and testing the small, highly maneuverable design 730. The moderately swept wing carrier suitable trainer weighs under 12,000 pounds and offers a safe approach speed of about 110 knots. Fuel efficient fan jets could save the training command up to 50 million gallons of fuel annually. Tunnel testing is continuing. We're getting positive verification that we have good balance between the handling qualities you need for a tactical aircraft and the exceptional safety levels that you want for a novice pilot. It's a process of design, analyze, and test, and redesign, reanalyze, and retest. The results of our program is such that we'll get an excellent training aircraft, one that is quite forgiving. In fact, the pilot can go to the corners of the envelope without risking life or limb. Since teaching spins is part of the student curriculum, Grumman and Beach took advantage of previous experience to ensure predictable spin qualities in Design 730. In addition, one six-scale spin model test conducted by Beach at the Langley Research Center helped predict spin modes, attitudes, and rates of rotation. Overall, the wind tunnel test programs have been extensive. Low speed tests with a 1 8 scale model considered a wide range of wing plan forms, wing and tail arrangements, high lift systems, and various inlet configurations. High speed tunnel tests using a 1 33rd scale model took design 730 from 0.2 Mach number through the transonic range up to 0.9 Mach, which covers the entire flight speed envelope. Wind tunnel data, in terms of equations of motion, are fed into a simulator with a man in the loop to assess handling qualities and recommend possible trade-offs. It's the ultimate test, flying an aircraft before building it. A soft cockpit mock-up aids in determining system management, instructor-student interface, and arrangement of controls and displays to improve operational efficiency ease of learning, and growth potential. Standard gauges and instruments blended with new integrated display systems help the training transfer. A head-up display eliminates the head in the cockpit syndrome typical of previous trainers. A HUD repeater gives the instructor the same outside world cues to assess student performance and to warn of possible miscues. Beach has also built a full-scale hard mock-up of the entire forward fuselage to look at alternate structural and mechanical designs, clearances, ingress and egress, and visibility for carrier approaches and ACM tactics. To help meet Navy requirements for female pilots and maintainers, Grumman has designed and built a unique reconfigurable crew station evaluator. The hinged and spring-loaded device is used to generate anthropometric data previously unavailable for females and to update information on males. 
ONS course. One of our jobs Driving the BTXTS from the beginning is a supportability, maintainability design and review effort. Everything that goes into the system is evaluated to be sure it's easy to support. Improved availability is the ultimate goal. A key consideration is whether the Navy will do its own organic maintenance or whether maintenance will be supplied by the contractor as Beach does now for the Navy T-34C and T-44A. In any event, the VTXTS is a total system that will be supported as a total system. And tying it all together is a computerized training management system a comprehensive means for monitoring and managing virtually every aspect of instruction, administration, scheduling, performance measurement, planning, and modeling. If a system goes down at one site, all the terminals switch to a computer at another site. It's a distributed processing system, all-encompassing, but readily achievable within the state of the art. A bit more complex is how to introduce the VTXTS into the three training sites without disrupting ongoing operations and without duplicating facilities. It's like putting two pegs in the same hole. Not easy. But then this entire Navy concept for undergraduate jet pilot training is a challenge. An extraordinary challenge that calls for an extraordinary commitment and a broad base of experience understanding, integration, innovation, and practical know-how. There's more to it than hardware. There always is when the human element is involved. And that's part of the challenge too. Man and machine. Grumman, Beach, and Link. We understand the problem. We've made the commitment. We're meeting the challenge.